So welcome to another video and today I'll be taking a look at the Galaxy S2 running the brand new Android 4.0 or ice cream sandwich as it's known. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through all the new features and additions and also changes that have been made to the interface and the software itself. So we'll start off with the lock screen. This is the default lock screen so you'll see it's now kind of blank just with your background image there. And you basically just put your finger on and you get this little circle with a padlock in the center and as you drag your finger to the edge, the padlock comes undone. And of course, it unlocks like so. They've also made some changes to the pattern unlock and the numpad unlock as well. They've just made uh, changes with the looks really. Nothing has really been majorly changed apart from the look of the interface itself. So you might notice everything looks pretty similar on the interface front. Nothing's really changed. They've stuck with the touch with interface. Although I will do a close up of the top here. You can actually see that's the notification icons or the battery and signal icons and things have actually changed slightly. They look a little bit slicker. So of course I will do a close up of those when I edit the video. And some of the other um, application icons such as Gmail and the like have also changed slightly just to make them a little bit clearer and just look a little bit neater on the actual phone itself. So of course the Google bar has changed. Uh, personally I don't like that. For some reason they've not left a gap at the sides and it just kind of doesn't fit on the page as well but something that I'll have to live with. So not much has changed with the notification center. You will notice at the bottom that you get a little bit more detail now in the description with the Gmail app there. They've also updated the notification icon for that a little bit. They've also introduced a new feature where you can swipe to the left or to the right to close individual notifications. This is kind of handy so you no longer have to clear all your notifications, you can close individual ones. So one really nice new addition is the all new task manager. So to open that, we just hold the home button down and up it pops there. So it's just like on the Nexus, you have all your applications that are open, you can scroll through them all like so. And to go into one, you basically just tap on it, that's pretty obvious. And of course, then you press it again to go back to it. And to close anything, you either swipe it to the right or the left, doesn't matter which way, and it will close that item. So I find this pretty cool, it's kind of a little bit easier to navigate than the old um, task manager was. A little bit easier to kind of get between different applications and it's a very nice addition overall. It also looks pretty nice as well, especially when you compare it to the old interface. There's also a little button there which links you straight into the traditional task manager with your active applications and of course you can clear your memory, check the storage sort of things, all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, really nice addition that. So one of my favorite additions and or changes, whatever you call it, is the new font. So it's now using the Roboto font, which again is taken from the Nexus. It probably won't come across that well in the video. It doesn't look a huge amount different to the previous font, although it is a lot clearer. It does look a lot sharper, a lot nicer to read, especially on the Galaxy S2's display. So fantastic job there from uh, Samsung. I really do like this new font. I can't stress enough. It looks a lot, lot better than the previous font, even though it's only slightly, slightly modified, it does make everything clearer, sharper and nicer to read on the device itself. So you'll also find that the settings has updated a little bit, if you click the settings menu, all of these menus have kind of changed slightly from the old Android, so if you go into settings here, you'll find that everything does look a little bit different, you've got your toggle switches there for your things, and of course one new addition is the data usage app, it's really great, this tells you all your what services are using the most data on your phone and of course you can set a limit to the amount of data you get per month, set the time period and things like that and get it to warn you when you do go over your limit or get near your limit and it will actually shut the uh, data off completely when you reach your limit if you set that on. So that's a really really nice addition, it means you don't have to have a separate application to monitor your data usage anymore. So of course everything has been slightly updated but pretty much all these settings are pretty much similar just to prove that I am running Android 4.0, there you go, 4.03. And while I'm on this, I'll just show you the little uh, Easter egg there. So you hold that down, and you get the little uh, Nyan Android guy. I don't know what you call him. I don't know if he has a name, so put it in the comments below if you know if this guy has a name or if he's just called the Android guy. So this could be one reason you want to update your phone so you can show off this little uh, <laughs> Nyan Android guy. No, I'm just joking, really. So finally, I just wanted to talk about some of the application updates. So a lot of the major applications have had a little bit of a facelift. So YouTube especially looks a lot nicer. You've got your home button there, your browse and your account. It's just been uh, not really majorly changed, just a nice little um, update to make it just look a little bit nicer. 
runs a little bit better, a little bit easier to navigate, that's one nice thing. Also things like the Gmail app have also been updated nice in there. They've also, one thing I really like is they put the refresh button down there so you no longer have to go menu refresh. So yeah, a lot of the um, built-in applications or major applications for the device itself have had a little bit of a facelift. I won't go through them all. None of them have been majorly changed, you know, they've just kind of got an updated look really. Nothing that's going to, you know, majorly change how you've used it. And I mean, the, all the changes on the ICS are, are for the better. I've, no, I've not actually found anything that's kind of gone bad or made it worse in any way, so that is really nice. So one thing I actually wanted to talk about is the Chrome Beta. Of course now you've got ICS you do have access to Chrome Beta which is it's still in a beta, it runs pretty well. You can sync your tabs between your PC at home and of course this device. So you can get all your bookmarks from home. It's a really nice application that they include. I'm sure it won't be long before it's out of the beta and officially released. And I probably will do an app review of this because I really do like this browser. I've honestly set I've set this as the default browser for my system. You can do that. Set it for the default browser. So anything that links to the web browser will actually now link to the Chrome Beta app. So of course that has been it. There isn't really much else to cover. Covered pretty much all the features. So stay tuned. I will be posting a video review of the Samsung Galaxy S2 in the near future. So uh, thanks for watching for now. Don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more videos like this. Awesome.